everybody. So today is a very special day for Soba. It is April 9th, the, which is probably the day this video is going to be going up. And she is one year old today. She hatched out of her egg a year ago today. Isn't that so cute? So I have her shed here. That's like proof that I know that she's thriving and growing as she's shed twice since I've had her. And I got her in November, I think. Yeah, I got her in November. So she set, she shed twice. She set, well, she's shed twice since she's been here. That is hard to say. And that is perfect. Um, I have one of her sheds here. The first shed was all crinkled. I didn't know how to preserve it very well, but I looked up how to preserve it because I, you can actually make jewelry with them. So I want to try and make jewelry with this shed of hers because it's a complete shed and it looks really good. Let me get her a little up close so you can see her. There she is. Oh, there's her belly, her pink belly, and she's going to climb. How do you let a snake celebrate her birthday? Well, I'm just going to let her climb because <laughs> that's what she loves to do. She loves to climb. And honestly, her favorite place to be is um, in my hair. So she'll probably get to hang out in my hair for a bit. And she's also getting fed. It's going to be a good day for her. I know that she has grown because she is shedding, but I did post about her on one of the boa pages that I'm on just to like get a second opinion to make sure she looks okay for being one year old and she's not behind or growing too fast and they said that she looks great so um that makes me feel really good she probably doesn't look that much bigger to you guys compared to her um introduction video but most of her growth is in girth and i'd say she's probably gotten like two inches but that'd be so hard to see with your eye so so the slower they grow, you let them be a snake. They know how to be a snake and they grow at their own time. And as long as you're feeding them well and getting complete sheds, which means all of the humidity is right, temperatures are right, then they'll grow at their own time and they'll be healthy and happy. I'm going to insert a feeding clip of Soba and that'll be her birthday meal. She's gonna climb this, okay. So that's Soba, my sweet girl. It's probably gonna be a short video because I'm just showing her on her birthday. Recap on what Soba actually is. She is a boa constrictor imperator, also known as a BCI, and she is a Central American BCI, which just means that's her locality. Um, genetics wise, that's where her ancestors are from. And it could be anywhere. It could be Nicaragua, it could be literally anywhere so we don't know exactly where we just know she's a central american boa she's female so she's going to be much bigger than the males get in weight and in length so that is pretty cool so this is her shed you can see the girth but under here i don't know how well you can see it those vertical scales are the belly scales and then I flip it over, these are the top scales. So what you can do is cut a little, cut a little section like this and implant it in like a pendant with a colored piece of paper behind it. And then it'll look really, really cool. I already washed this a couple times, but this is a complete beautiful shed from face to tail which is exactly what you want to see. And you should always check the very tip and make sure the tip is a complete tail because that is the area that shed gets stuck the most. So if they pull off a complete tail, then you're really doing something right. Where'd she go? I see her tail, but I don't feel where her body is. What else can I tell you about Soba? And she's now on medium adult mice and Pretty soon, I'd say she's probably going to move up to large within the next few months. So she is growing pretty well. She always does her bowel movements in her water. So that's easy to clean, but it's a weird quirk she has. What other quirks does she have? 
Oh, she's obsessed with the camera, as you've already seen a couple times. She, anytime I have my phone out taking pictures, she goes straight to the camera. I think it's probably just a climate. To wrap around my ponytail, it's in my hood. What else can I say about you, Soba? I'm trying to find her, but I can feel her in my hair, but I have no idea where she is. Maybe you can see her. Can you see her? I can feel her, but I don't know where she is. Who even knows? So anyways, I've had a couple people messaging me asking about like the tips of having a snake. Where do you start? There she is. So I'm going to just do a broad overview of like what you should know. So a lot of people recommend keeping snakes in plastic tubs, like the cheap plastic tub you get from Walmart because they hold humidity way better than glass. That is true, but I went with glass because it was clearer and I wanted to be able to show the decor inside. It's just a lot more work keeping humidity up. So it is possible to do it with a glass tank. She is in a 20 gallon long tank. You want as much ground space as possible. When she's bigger, she's going to need to have a custom type of enclosure, which you can build yourself or you can buy. If you buy it, it's expensive. You need to be ready for it. If you build it yourself, you need to know what you're doing. I personally am just gonna buy it, but don't get a boa if you think you're gonna keep them in a aquarium tank um, their whole life. You are not. They're too big. She will probably reach seven feet for sure, and maybe longer, eight, nine feet, totally possible. They are indeterminate growers, which means they grow their entire life. They do not stop. It does slow, but it doesn't stop. Um, same with tarantulas. They are indeterminate growers as well. So you're going to have to feed frozen thawed animals. Um, most of its life, rats and mice are okay. But when they're big, if she reaches eight or nine feet, I'm going to have to get something bigger, like rabbits or chickens, something like that. So that can be hard to find, but the pro is they don't eat very often. When she's that big, she might not be eating, she might be eating once every eight weeks, maybe even 10 weeks. So you don't have to worry about finding a rabbit every week. Also, you're going to have to have a lot of equipment. So she right now has a ceramic heat emitter that gives off no light. She has two heat mats because my house is so cold. I need to have one for the hot side and the cool side just to keep the cool side up to 75 degrees. I need a heat mat because my house is so cold. I don't know where she's going, but she's gonna fall off my face. She's trying to reach the tripod. I'll move my head closer for her <laughs> so she can climb it if she wants. Um, and whatever heat device you have, you need to have it on a thermostat because they get ridiculously hot very fast and it will absolutely burn your snake. So if you have a heat mat, you need a thermostat. I have a heat mat, a ceramic heat emitter, and another heat mat. All of them are on their own thermostat. That is extremely important. As for a substrate, if you have a species that needs higher humidity, you need a substrate that will hold humidity. She is on cocoa fiber. Another one is cypress mulch. That's really good. Aspen, no. Do not get aspen. Anything with pine in it, no. It's toxic. There she goes. They need a water dish that's big enough to soak in. Um, I think that's about it, honestly. If you have like specific questions, then you could message me. Where is she going? Let me just show you. That's my art. Shameless plug. She's on the tripod doing her thing. I don't know what she's reaching for. There's nothing to climb up there, girl. You can see this beautiful ridge in her back. That's what you want to see on a boa. That is her muscle definition. Hi, Soba. What are you doing? Are you going to come back over? You gonna come back? Yeah, she comes. 
come off. So I'm sorry if this video was like all over the place. Honestly, it's quarantine. What is everyone doing? Nothing. I'm not doing anything either. So now I'm going to insert her feeding clip. And if you don't want to see a dead mouse or you don't want to see her strike and coil a mouse, don't watch it. Trigger, warning, whatever. If you're grossed out, don't watch it. But it's really not that bad. There's no blood. There's no anything like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's a good clip. You'll see. I haven't done it yet. It, you might not barely be able to see her, but we will try. So this is the mouse. It's a small adult mouse. She usually gets mediums, but I have one small left, so I'm gonna give that to her. Um, it's It was frozen, it's thawed, and now I'm gonna use a blow dryer just to warm it up. Um, it only takes like 30 seconds to a minute. She won't take it if it's not warm, so I'm gonna do that now. You should use tongs, but do as I say, not as I do. See her little head coming up. There you go. She has it in a nice coil. It'll be down the hatch completely within 30 minutes, I'd say. So yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you for watching Soba's birthday video. Um, she had a great time on her birthday. She climbed, she ate, and she was happy and content. And that's all I can ask for from my sweet Soba. She's still climbing. Yeah, she's having a great time. So if you want a boa or you want a snake or any kind of reptile, message me on my Instagram or my Snapchat. It's all linked below in the description. I'll give you all the advice you need. And yeah, hopefully these videos have made you a little less afraid of snakes because Soba is as sweet as can be. And she's a boa constrictor, which strikes fear in people just saying it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Bye.